everyone um i just wanted to sh uh, share some scriptures um and basically as a christian i feel um it's our duty to share these things or that's what jesus tells us we're supposed to do is share these things with others and you know it's not that i feel any that i'm better than anyone or anything like that like some people may i just want to get the word out there okay and one of the verses that tells us that we should do that is Matthew 10 27 and it says whatever I tell you in the dark speak in the light and what you hear in your ear preach on the housetops oh. and do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell are not two sparrows sold for a copper coin and not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will but the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore. You are more value of any than any sparrows. For men, than many sparrows, I'm sorry. What that's saying is that he wants you to fear God, but he also wants you to, you know, not worry about what others think, what the world thinks. Worry about God. That's all you should be concerned with. And then it, um, if you keep reading, it says, Therefore, whoever confesses me before men, him I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. So Jesus is saying, if you confess, you know, the word, the truth, then I will also, you know, put in a good hey, word mommy, for you hey, to God. Um, but whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. So that's basically why I'm doing these YouTube videos. I, because I feel if I'm not proclaiming his name, then he's not going to say, hey, you know, put in a good word for me to God. You have to do this. This is your duty as a Christian to share your faith and proclaim his word to everyone. Okay, and there's another one. Um, in Luke, hey, mommy. Luke 12, 8, hey, mommy. it says, also, I say to you, whoever confesses me before men, him, the Son of Man, also will confess before the angels of God. So, if you confess to him, he will also confess for you before God. But he who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be one of those that denies him and then has him deny me in front of God. So... Um, and anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man, it will be forgiven him. But to him who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit, it will not be forgiven. Sorry about that, my daughter. Okay. And, um... The other one, basically I want to say um, what I wanted to make this video about, most of it was a lot of people um, say they believe in God and they believe in Jesus, you know, but they're not all in it, you know, they're kind of like, um, they pray, maybe even go to church, um, but not everybody's into the word of God, the Bible. Um, and I've had others tell me that, oh, you know, well, the, um, man's manipulated the Bible, basically, that they've changed the, the, um, the words, that it's not, it's, you don't know how it's been changed and all that, but, um, then if you're denying the Bible, you're denying Jesus because, um, let me find the verse. <clears throat> hey, mommy. 
the prophets were blessed when Jesus died. The prophets were blessed with the Holy Spirit. That's our helper. That's the way um, God comes and reveals things to us. If you're denying the prophets in the Bible and what they had to say, then you're denying the Holy Spirit, which you're also denying Jesus because Jesus talks about that in um, John 15, or no, John 16. He talks about that. So you're denying Jesus and you're denying God. So how you can't be half, half Christian. You have to be all the way. And if you just look around today's world, some people say, oh, it's always been bad. It's, it's getting worse. Natural disasters, you know, mass killings, you know, it, it's, it's getting worse. You just have to look around, you know? Don't be one of those people that don't know what's going on in the world. You need to know what's going on in the world because that's what it says in the Bible. It says, watch. And that's how we know. That's how God says he communicates with us through these things, like signs in the sun and the moon and the stars. We're getting ready to have a solar maximum or whatever. You know, a lot of things are going on in the world. Um, Israel, you have to watch Israel. God says that's his land. And they're surrounded. They're surrounded by all, um, you know, a lot of the Muslim brotherhood, you know, and they, they don't like Israel and they're wanting to get what they have. And I just feel we're getting close. Uh, that's what was revealed to me, but that was only revealed to me once I started reading in the Bible a lot, like fully putting my whole heart and soul in that. And that didn't happen until I, you know, just begged for forgiveness. You have to come as, you have to repent. You have to repent. You have, it's so important. And I don't think any of the churches are really, I don't know how much they're preaching repentance but it's important you and you do have to you i think you need to fear god you know but i'm getting off subject here but for those like i said i wanted to i just got this message to my spirit i don't know who it's for i just put it out there and basically like i said a lot of people think that the bible has been messed with and manipulated and they don't know what is it true or is it just some random guy's word, you know. But these are the prophets that the Holy Spirit revealed to them things. And we've had many things in the Bible that come true. So, I mean, it, it's kind of dumb to doubt it, but people do doubt it. And um, so what I wanted to read was John... 16 um okay this is where um Jesus is talking to the prophets I'll just start at John 16 8 oh no maybe I should start um John 16 7 nevertheless I tell you the truth this is Jesus here it is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper, that's the Holy Spirit, um, I lost my spot. The Helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. So that's when Jesus died on the cross, he sends us the Holy Spirit. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and in of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they do not believe in me of righteousness because I go to my father for you see me no more of judgment because the ruler of this world is judged I still have many things to say to you but I cannot bear them now however when he the spirit of truth our Holy Spirit 
has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority. So these prophets were not speaking of their own mind and thoughts. They're speaking from all-knowing truth, the Holy Spirit that was provided by Jesus. But whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. So they, they were revealing things that were going to happen far, far into the future. So if you're doubting that that is real, you're doubting what Jesus is saying here, then you're doubting God. So you can't kind of say, oh, I believe in God. I do. And I've had people tell me now, oh, I believe in God. Okay, but you don't believe the Bible? Um, well, I kind of do, but I kind of don't. You know, you can't do that. You can't do that with God. It has to be all or nothing. Life or death. That's, that's the battle we're in. We're in a spiritual battle, battle. It's life or death. You have to get with it. You have to get all into it. Okay. <laughs> So he says, he will speak and he will tell you things to come, the Holy Spirit. He will glorify me and he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. All things that the Father has are mine. Therefore, I said that he will take of mine and declare it to you. That's a beautiful gift. That That's amazing right there. And it just... I never understand why people will say that, you know, I believe in God, but nobody really believes the rapture is like a real imminent thing. You believe that Jesus died on the cross and, and rose on the third day? That's miraculous. But you can't believe in the rapture? of the believers that he's going to take us home. The best promise that, <laughs> I mean, let me see if I can find that verse because I love that one. Um, his promise to us. Oh man, I knew I, I just read it too. Okay, there we go. I think it's this one. Um, John 14. I love this one. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. He's preparing a place for us. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. He's saying, I'm coming back for you. Do not be troubled. I'm coming back. That's our hope. I will, okay, no, I just said that part. That where I am, there you may also be, or be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. So he's saying, you know how to get there. By doing what you're doing, reading the Bible and Word, you, and you know the promises are true. And Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how can we know the way? And sometimes I think that's just crazy. Even the um, disciples back then, they just could not fathom what Jesus was saying. They couldn't, they just didn't get it. That's, Jesus was speaking not only to them but he's speaking to us this right here the word of god is right here for us right now in this day and time 
for us a beautiful gift he's leaving for us he intended us and each and every one of you that read this bible to understand this and all you got to do is ask him for his wisdom and ask him for his guidance and say lord lord god please forgive me for my sins and you know just guide me and help me hear your holy spirit and and bless me with your wisdom lord that's all you have to do and jesus said to him i am the way i am the truth i am the life no one comes to the father except through me jesus is the only way amen so i just want to share that because um i know it's my duty to share it and <laughs> trying to do it's my duty to share as a christian and um you know as christians brothers and sisters we need to stick together in this and learn from each other um as we're getting prepared to be his bride because jesus is coming back soon you know we're in those days and times i really do feel it he's revealed it to me and then i i noticed a lot of people are feeling the same things so just don't doubt the bible when you're doubting that that is the devil putting that doubt in you that is the devil putting the doubt in your heart that man has manipulated this this is not like yeah i could understand maybe some other religions have messed with it and took out parts but this is like the this is it this is real this if you're denying the bible and everything that's in here you have you cannot de deny any part of it if you're denying any part of it then you're denying jesus you're denying god and you don't want to do that you need to have some kind of fear of the lord because he will come he is coming back and he is going to place judgment and there will be horrible horrible things it will be a great deception and a lot of people are going to believe a lie and you just don't want to go through that they're going to be such suffering and pain if you don't have jesus just it's as simple as reaching out to him and dedicating your full heart to him and just opening up a bible and reading it's that simple and he will give you the wisdom to understand it get it in you the more you get that word into you the more you start to understand it i've been reading it for a while um and at first it was kind of hard for me to understand but then one day i just really just was heartbroken over a situation i just gave my all to him and i said just Jesus take this pain away and I, forgive me and and he started opening up revealing things and when I would read in the word I would understand and it's so important people and don't doubt it don't doubt it Satan's a liar alright bye